the rapidly growing automobile may face challenges in its growth if the if raw material supply is not sufficient. According to the analysis conducted by IGS Market Chemical Division, it is not expected to experience shortages of lithium in terms of lithium production. However, the demand and supply is not a simple calculation for this. Um, there is a long pipeline from mining size to the cell makers and even to car makers. There could be some sort of uh, economic, political, environmental, and regulatory regions could rise other than, uh, other than supply and demand in volume. For example, the price of lithium rose about three to four times, and the price of nickel rose by about 50%, which contributed to the increase in battery prices last year, like you know, five to ten percent, even though there was sufficient lithium in the market. I believe that uh, continued efforts to uh, develop more effective mining and refining technologies needs to be made, and investments should also be made to mine more resources. And at the same time, the stakeholders need to be more collaborative to make sure our society achieve mm -hmm. the carbon neutrality. On the other hand, in terms of circular economy, uh, regulatory, political, and uh, financial support for raw material recycling should be established in order to mitigate the concerns over uh, raw material supply. Now, as we talk about supply, Richard, are we, I'm reading here that France has planned $1.1 billion to safeguard metals for EV batteries. Uh, what can countries do in order to uh, ensure that they have supply for these EV batteries? Well, this is another good question. Um, each country has its own agenda because different countries will have different automotive market positions. For example, as you said, France, Germany, and UK, Italy, and uh, Spain, all of those companies, uh, countries are uh, having the strong position in terms of car manufacturing, and they are eager to moving towards the electrification. Therefore, the car production demand are there, and therefore the countries need to support the, the auto industry to grow further uh, during the during the transition period from the internal combustion engine to electric vehicles. So um, you know we we are uh, witnessing that that those countries are uh, making efforts to invite more cell manufacturers and you know so, uh, so suppliers of raw materials and you know, refineries for the raw material for the uh, batteries. So I think the, those five countries might be the one of them uh, to uh, establish the battery uh, capacity in the, in the countries. And of course, there are mm -hmm. some other countries like Norway and, and so on to uh, take the technological and market leadership uh, during, the, during this uh, transition.